What's happening everyone? So, um, it's a different day. I know I haven't posted any videos lately. I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, things have been a bit crazy. I've uh, been working from home. I've not been playing Airsoft uh, due to making the decision to finally just get my driving license sorted. Um, so I've been doing that and I've done about three lessons so far. Booked my theory. By the way, for the third time, I've passed my theory twice before. Uh, four years have gone by, which I never really completed the, what do you call it? I just never, just never went and did the practical, which was a waste of money. Um, so, <laughs> the situation at the moment is now, this month I probably won't play. I'll probably play one or two games, maybe one, uh, just to see people that I haven't seen. I've got a few things to give uh, Alex Gilly and Shane, uh, OBS Rogue from the boys in Across the Pond in the States uh, Task Force podcast from Snake and Nasty um, which I know that you guys are looking forward to getting um, but also on top of that I'm moving house at the end of uh, at the end of this month so so I don't waste money um, it's not a waste because obviously I enjoy playing airsoft but I need to put those funds uh, to other other areas of my life that are currently the priority um, not meaning that you guys aren't my priority. I appreciate everything you guys have done supporting the channel and, uh, and my videos, however crappy or good they are, in your opinion. But I appreciate every moment. Um, so, yeah, so the, the deal is obviously to get my driver license, I'm able to travel to anywhere, anytime I want, and play. Because my current situation has been I can't travel um, due to obviously not driving so I'm having to rely on other people that don't even live nearby to go and play games and the only site I really have nearby is uh, Tactical Warfare which even though it's a good site for beginners no longer really suitable for uh, the types of places that I like to play at so once that should be sorted so, oh, so um, I'd like to get my license done so my theory exam is be booked for the 20, 20th? I think 20th something of August. Once that's done, I'm gonna book a theory exam immediately after, because I know I'm gonna pass. I've been doing practical tests or whatever you wanna call it, the test practi uh, pra uh, practice test on my mobile. And uh, I've been passing all of them. Um, so, need to go and do that. So let's, let's start from getting that done. Let's start getting that done first. But yeah, so today, I am making my way to Alpha Guns in Camden Town. Um, I sent my, for those who know it, who, who've seen it, who haven't, my first ever rifle is a DITAC SMR M4. Um, I've had it for nearly three years now. It was my first ever rifle. Um, I bought tons of rifles uh, before that. Uh, but that's the only one that I ever used. I know, right, what's the point? Uh, but it's been my best friend since I bought it. It's looked after me really well. Um, in the past, the only thing I ever did was I went to Wolf Armouries in Camden, also they're based there, um, to put a basic Titan MOSFET in it, just to kind of fix the, the response time, because I used to have to pull back on the trigger quite a bit just to get it to fire, even though it was a great gun. Um, and I put some new gears in it, because when, when we first put the Titan in, it chewed up all the, the original gears that were in there, so we had to put some reinforced gears in. But, for those who do and don't know, I have not partnered, but currently working with, well the idea is to, to work with Alpha Guns. Uh, they're a great store in Camden Town. They have a shooting range with an automated target system there. Two lanes, you can do like whack-a-mole, hostage, whatever. It's actually really, really good fun. They're fully booked out, which is awesome to see so many people actually coming to try it out. Not necessarily obviously playing on the field they see it as more of a you know like a wow we get to shoot like these bb guns at targets um but every time i'm there i try to encourage them to to look at airsoft as a whole 
and, and actually take their friends and stuff, which has been quite a good response from all of them. Um, so yeah, it's been good. So I'm going down there, making my way now to the bus, bus garage or whatever you want to call it, the bus stop, to get a bus down to Stockholm Station and I'm going to get the underground from there. But the idea is today, boys, we are fully, fully customizing my Dietac SMR M4. So my boy Cyrus, I am coming to see you today. Uh, we can run through, we're going to run through what we're putting in it. So he hasn't done any work to it at all. We're going to document this whole thing from the scratch. Um, maybe if I have the opportunity to show you what it looks like to open it up, where things go, what does what, show you around the store as well. It's kind of a small store, but it has everything you need. And if they don't have it in store, they'll order it in. But I've seen some cool stuff. Um, there may or may not be a minigun sitting there. There may or may not be thermal uh, night vision, I think, or something. He's been pulling in some really cool stuff lately. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, we'll see you there. Yeah, so I'm being a bit lazy. I just looked at the traffic and it looks like it's going to take me an age. So I've cheated and I've got a bolt. He's going to turn around and uh, we're going to get a, a cab to uh, Stockwell. So we'll see what happens. Hi, dude. Just got to the station. Um, so we're stuck while well. we're gonna make our way to Vauxhall. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the zoom is on this thing. So yeah, I've messaged. So I've messaged. Um, I do. I do not like these masks at all. Um, I've messaged Cyrus uh, to go down to. Never mind. I've missed Cyrus telling them that I'm on my way there. Um, so which we're gonna get the northern line, no Victoria line to Houston and then change. I think that's what Diego told me, so we'll do that. So we have arrived at Camden Station. Um, so not far now, I think it's about five, like a little three-minute walk to uh, the store itself. You don't even recognize it, do you? Nah, I didn't. Look at yeah. it. Where are you going? I'm going to get some new island keys for this minigun, which is this close to being finished. So you're going to go get parts? Yep. All right, I'll film the rest of the route to the store. No, 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 <laughs> for no, no, the no, video, isn't it? I'm coming with us, I I'm coming with you. All right, I'll tell you And I did, I was like, who's this guy filming? I guess I'm telling it around. The second I see the camera, then I see the chubby bird, I was like, that's nice. I didn't even look at the face, I just looked back at the camera and started giving so it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come into your face. I think he was just laughing like, what the fuck just cut there? Cut that out of context, he was just gonna come into my face. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you grabbing this from? Yeah, we're of a Oh, okay. Oh, was it like a delivery? Thing? No, no, no. So what happened is, is we've got the minigun, but I've got an HPA type, so I've got the tank, I've got the regulator, I've got both the lines. Problem is, undo the regulator, I need a 4.5 inch Allen key. I've got a four and I've got a five. I've got Allen keys in it. Do you have a 4.5? No idea. Probably won't, it's a fucking niche key. I've got four sets of Allen keys, my own personal one, thanks. See, my answer is you just pile a big one down. That's true, <laughs> we, we, we had the abundance of uh, <laughs> that. That would have been effort, these are my keys. So, do that with I bumped into the lads on their way to buy some Allen key for a minigun. I told you earlier, a minigun. So yeah, that's Cyrus. Well, that's Cyrus. As you point at the road and <laughs> miss me by like a mile in the angle. Mm. It's hard, man. Do you know how awkward it is to actually film it with this thing in the middle of the road? Huh? You're not got a gimbal. Why do I want a gimbal? Steady. Unless it's got like built in. It's just already. Stabilizer. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wicked. Dude, a gimbal is more for a phone. For this, I've got an actual like proper. Yeah, but it's a full-on like two-handed yeah, thing. You're not gonna walk it. Get yourself an MG42, stick it on there. Get a camera on the MG42, link it up to a lens. And a fucking smart from Alien. 
I'll build you that. Yeah, I'll do this it. is why he's called the Mad Hatter Tech, Techie guy. Wait, I'm considering a, a, a choke. Saying the top hat won't even fit on this guy's head. Yeah. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> I said I said that. You, I you done with it. You've got a minigun, you know? I was like, it's alive! So you're just buying a whole set? Set to give the change to him. Yeah. He's my governor. He's my governor. Oh, these are mine. Is that why you had to come with you? Just to make sure. They give you the right change. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. You're very welcome. The green pound coin. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, you're hey. using my phone. Let's have a look at this. I'm using your tools. Let's have a look. Sorry? I don't think I've ever seen it like that before. Wait, what? Oh, 100 bucks. Oh, I'm borrowing. Huh? I'm borrowing the minimum for the time. Okay. 25% of the time you step on your board to stand up, the other 5% of the time you board to stand up. Face. Just look. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. All right. Not Bunker 51. Take it to drive with, bro. Why not take it to Bunker 51? That is. Why not? Naughty. Can I feel it? What? Yeah. You're who asked for air conditioning? <laughs> this is a naughty piece of kit. Really? And, uh, where is it from, guys? Classic Army, brother. So this is from Classic M1 Army. M132 micro gun. And how much is this retailing for? Uh, 1,250. 1,250. Do we know yet? I'm fucking us. About 800. So nah, it about nah, means nah, there's nah, room nah. to negotiate. <laughs> eight, no, I'm sure it's not 800. I'm sure it's like around 689. It's got some weight to it, but I mean, well, put a sling on it and one. it's fine. You won't put a sling on that. Well, you can't. Hey. That's actually to uh, take off the sling. That's, that's not yeah, a sling fine. point. Well, you could put, you could create one, couldn't you? At the end, I mean, I guess you, you could put, put one around here and here. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and it's saying? been sitting there. This guy used to be a marshal bit. Yeah, and that is. Yeah, apparently they're going to discuss that. Disgusting piece of kit. Might have to get a juggernaut. Might have to get a juggernaut loadout just for this. That's what I'm going to do. Imagine I can tell you something. That's 600 then. Last in my yard, and I actually felt the air pressure coming off of it. I said, blast it in my face. Well done. Well done. Blast it in my face. I want to feel the air pressure. It's kinky. I like it. So, yeah. Well done on your first HPA job. You should see what I'm doing to my MP and my, my MWS, my vector. No, you, what you should be saying is, you should see what I'm doing to your game. Yeah. Why do you sound like you're clapping your ass behind that desk? Right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, Tommy's dick like, and clap my ass, breaking the guards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. Matt's recording. Y'all think I'm playing. There's a gun to my head. I don't want to be here. The man behind the camera, I'm fine with him. It's this guy I don't worry about. Not this one right here, the chunky one sitting down. 
Now he buys my loyalty, but this is so we can get that. What's that basement effect called? It's where you where you kidnapped and you fall in love with your kidnapped. Base the basement effect, you know. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, you know. That's crazy. It's true. Hey Craig, Craig's busy. Cool. We're looking at him. <laughs> 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 I don't know, what's the cause? Basically, you kidnap me and then after all I'm just like, you know what I kind of like when you know you kidnap me, that's what that's called. Stockholm Syndrome. I've got Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, not based on the syndrome you did. <laughs> I mean, it was synonymous with some guy that kept his daughter in a basement for God knows what's his name, I don't know. The syndrome I'll give you a trophy art in a minute. I was kind of gay. I do not apologise. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so, as you know, finally got to Alpha Guns uh, and I'm here with Cyrus. Let's not be pointing that finger at me, boy. Well, actually, hold on. He's gonna we'll bite do the whole Dragon Z shit. Uh, you, wanna do, you wanna do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna parry up. He's gonna bite that finger off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just had Subway. He's fine. Yeah. Fine. The fact that he's been fulfilled. This is gonna be 30 minutes before we even start the video. Right. <laughs> so, as I've mentioned, I've come to Alpha, One, Alpha Guns today uh, because my first ever rifle um, is getting fully modded out by Cyrus. Um, so the rifle that we are modding out, for those who don't know, have we got it with us? Bleat! <laughs> is the, the Ditec SMR. Inferior Neto Weaponry. Okay, that's what he said. Uh, is a Ditec SMR M4. I uh, got this from Wolf Armouries, uh, also in Camden around the corner, uh, many years ago, about three years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. About the, that. Yeah, so fun fact, for those who don't know, um, this gentleman that's sitting, uh, standing next to me this is... is yeah, it's been like that for a while. Um, actually started playing Airsoft. Well, I, when I started playing Airsoft, Cyrus was, was playing. And I first met Cyrus on my first ever Airsoft game. If you see me fiddling, I've got ADHD, I do this shit. You'll, you'll notice a lot just, of Just be glad he's doing it with the gun and not with his bollocks. Um, so, <laughs> uh, he's he's known this gun since it, before it was painted, before it had any modifications in when it. When it was black like my daddy. Yeah. Um, we don't even know that because he's not around. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones, truth be told. Lucky one. <laughs> oh my god, it's just me then. Uh, right. <laughs> um, so, we're going to modify this. Currently, Why what's so in warm, it. motherfucker. Because I'm fat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what's in it at the moment is a basic Titan MOSFET. If MOSFET. I'm correct. The MOSFET. MOSFET. I just think it's fit. Though. It ain't MOSFET uh, if you want fit. <laughs> I used to be. <laughs> you, um, you better help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that kind of helped with the trigger response because before I used to have to put it all the way back for it to fire. Now it's really, really good. Um, I remember when we first tried it, it chewed up the, the gears. Um, it had some gears put in there to replace the ones that did get chewed up. And that's literally all it's had. So, Cyrus, do you want to let no. people know what we're getting done to this thing? No, but I have to. You have to. Okay, right. right. Put the gun down first of all. Okay. I'm gonna move. move. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll come on this side actually because the parts are on this side, aren't they? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fit some new higher speed gears. Now, I wanted to go with 13 to 1, but out of stock ever. So we've got 16 to 1s, so it increases trigger response and cycle rate and gives them a nice high rate of fire. Because we all know whose trigger finger's lacking. We've got some air sealing parts from Max. Now, I like these because when they're in conjunction with each other, you get no FPS drop and they're always nice. Polished cylinder, smooth motion of the piston. Helps keep everything nice and compressed. Maple leaf. I don't need to say anymore. ASG hop chamber. I like these because it's stiff as hell to rotate and the adjust. Man, I fumbled my words there. You what? Rotate the adjust. Rotate the adjust. Rotate the adjust. Take it as you want. Take it's it, stiff, take so it, it, ain't gonna, it ain't gonna loosen itself over time, which means he and I have to keep changing it and messing up my hard work. Like him. Exactly. Why are you getting involved? You're the cameraman, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> this is what the bloopers are for. <laughs> and finally, we're going to get rid of that old, beat up brass barrel and we're going to replace it with a nice steel one. So, this has got a brass barrel at the moment? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's got a brass barrel. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to assume every, I've never seen a gun come stop with a steel barrel. Cool. So, okay. even though it's a cheap steel barrel, steel is better than brass, it ain't going to scratch. Cool. And then we're going to install all this thing. Okay. So. We're going to probably film or do a time lapse of you fixing these things in if you're down for it. Yeah. Um, how long do you think to install of this will take to actually do if, if you suddenly want to get this done? Obviously, he's Depends a mad, on he's how a much mad, mad engineer here, right? But <laughs> I, 
I'm gonna beat that out. No, I'm just kidding. I've done a few. Done it many years ago. Uh, I thought he was about to say you've done a few lines on cars. About to say, boy, what the hell? I just mentioned this. <laughs> Um, people cancel you for shit 15 years ago. <laughs> I've seen it. What? There's some there was some cricket player. Like when he was like 12, he said some racist shit. Okay. He's 27. Can now. I just say racist and cocaine are two different things? Just mm-hmm. say it. It's not the point. It's not the point. He's it's, it's like, like saying, oh, it's, I took Paris. It's like off. having a 12-year-old on Xbox Live saying like, you know, really dumb shit. And 27 years later they come back and can't you cancel. You do that them. all the time. Have you not watched our fucking Twitch channel? Yeah, I usually come into the <laughs> about why you're a bitch and Jesus you ain't got a PC Christ. and play right, right, from Calm down, calm down. Okay. Uh, you got me we, fucked let's up. Not, let's not get into PC conversations because <laughs> we'll be here all day. Are we talking game yeah, or how long, long, how long will it take us? <laughs> how long will it take us to install them? About half an hour to an hour. Half an hour? hour. So what Depends would, on how much you get in what, fucking work. What would the essentially the process would be to do this then? Is there a way of specifically opening this? How does it work? How is the gun Yet. manufactured? How does it work? Get a box first. Yeah. Right, but when you say gearbox, how do you get to it? Well, we're gonna take off the top receiver. So this splits it off. Let me finish my routine. Don't interrupt me. There's no routine, bitch. <laughs> There's a routine. There's a method to the madness. Oh, Jesus your upper receiver's gone. Okay. We take out your motor. We take off the pistol grip. We take out the damn buffer tube where the screw that fastens into the gearbox is. Right. Unscrew that. Take out any pins. Gearbox is out. Unscrew gearbox. Yeet the shit parts and put the good parts in. Cool. And then do it all over again. And then I just fit this into your upper receiver. Cool. That's it. Easy, easy. So we'll, we'll cut to the scene where Cyrus actually does some fucking work. By the way, if I didn't mention it, there's a specific reason I go for Max parts. Every single part they have has a... That focus, there we go. It's got double sealing O-rings instead of single sealing. I like double sealing. Every part. No air loss.
Of the place, believe me, I swear. From in peace, from the clues, we are learned, we are with. Don't play with the way you're worse than me, so. Hold the light and spark the fear. I let the people from the parties over here. I'm right, say, till you're the one well here, too. Found a hot one, found a beer. Come on, I let me see your heart. Hey guys, and uh, we're back at it. It's been, what, three hours? Fuck. And the phone's ringing. Um, but but yeah, as you can see, I don't know what's happened to Cyrus, but he's put a lot of effort into building this thing. I'll let him explain. Uh, yeah, home alone, Fuck you. We'll make him explain what happened. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'll take over. Fuck your house. <laughs> Fuck the shoes you walked here on. I ain't touching your shirt now. Don't worry, you'll see the bill. So, I can't keep what's, this what's the, si what's the situation? Situation, got his gun and it was chrono and at 250 FPS. Now I ain't changed a spring a damn thing. Put all those airsoil parts in it, however. 400 FPS. 412, let's be serious here. Yeah. <laughs> It's at 412 FPS, by the way, and uh, before I even gave it to Cyrus, I was firing at 250 with 0.2 rounds in. And it, <laughs> but bearing in mind, 412 on a constant, right? It was only going down by 411, 412, so... Yeah, so now, what is the next step? Obviously, we're cutting it short because the store is closing and we want to go home. I've got to go back inside. He's got to go back inside. So we've got to figure thing. out what he's going to do. And put a smaller spring in there. So you need to put a smaller spring. What spring is in it at the moment? I don't fucking know. You don't know. <laughs> Too damn powerful, that's what I'm gonna assume it's an M130 or an M140. And what spring are you gonna try and put it M100. An M100. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's gibberish to me, but... Yeah, happy with M100 that? just means 100 meters a second. Okay. You don't have to get serious about that. <laughs> He's not happy, is he? But yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll come back with a part two of this video, and uh, we'll see. But uh, boys, you wanna join us? Come on. Okay, there we go. He's hiding in the corner. We've got him on camera. Craig, get, get your <laughs> bumpy ass back here. He's, got, he's moving the whole thing. Get your ass back here before I revoke your ticket to Bonkin next There you go, look. <laughs> and then you've got Dom in the background. And this is Dom. And then Diego is obviously behind the camera. <laughs> and then, <laughs> no, raise that hand up higher so we can demonetize Mike. <laughs> it's useless. But yeah guys, well look, thank you for joining us for this video and we'll see you back in a You've got an arm off! He just lost an arm. <laughs> it's a flesh He's just wound. lost an arm. It's what? a flesh wound. This is the weirdest cameraman I've seen in my life. <laughs> like what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? He could have just taken a camera off the stand, but he's pulled the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Man, and, stop uh, fucking feeling off the mannequin! Welcome to the first video. <laughs> you <and> lovely <laughs> bitch! <laughs> welcome to the first video <laughs> at Alpha Guns. We'll see you soon. Bye now.